All right, I'm just starting a big three bay garage here. 44 by 32. Doing a garage epoxy coating. Gonna do the flake, full flake broadcast. We're just getting ready to, to prep now. We'll get the floor ground, get it all scratched up really good. There's no cracks in the floor. Just get it prepped for the epoxy for tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching my video. My name's Mike Day. We do a ton of these epoxy garage floor coatings each year. My company, Day's Concrete Floors, specializes in these, as well as all kinds of other types of concrete stuff. Now, let me know why you are you clicked on the video. Why are you watching this? Are you thinking of doing your own? Do you just want to see what they look like? I um, mean, epoxy garage floor coatings are really cool. You can see the condition of this concrete. This concrete really isn't that old. It's less than a year old, but the, the floor really doesn't look that well. And this homeowner really wanted a nice looking floor. It's a brand new house, brand new garage. In the background, that's a brand new barn. So wait till you see what this floor is going to look like. But if you do, if you are thinking of doing something like this in your garage and you want to, you know, maybe think about, can I do this myself or should I hire a pro? I mean, I can help you with that. I got... A, a link down in the description if you want to check that out that'll show you you know kind of how to do this on your own it'll, it'll take you through all the steps from beginning to end even if you've got some repair to do if you got some cracks to do some small repairs to do it shows you how to fix all that stuff luckily this one here it didn't have any repair so all we really need to do is prep it for the coating and you know just go to work so grinding it's half the battle and then getting it clean and we're going to get ready to go right here So we're getting ready. We've got our mixing station all prepped. We've got our flake in our buckets. We got going 200 square feet a gallon with this base coat. So we got everything measured out with tape on the wall. That's 200 square feet. It's about nine by. Actually, we're going a gallon and a half. So we're going about 300 square feet. So that's about nine and a half by 32. Almost ready to get started here. This is a fast cure epoxy, so it should be cured up in about an hour and a half. Mix epoxy with a drill and a paddle, not with a paint stick. You know, if you're going to epoxy coat your garage floor and you've never done it before, probably some of the hardest things to understand is just how much prep you need to do. Um, you just really, you can't just muriatic acid or etch your garage floor and expect anything to adhere to it for a very long time, especially when you drive over it with really hot tires. The hot tires are just going to peel that right back up because the concrete isn't open enough. You haven't, you haven't made it like rough enough for the epoxy coating to stick to it. So that's why, you know, I always recommend you gotta, you gotta grind stuff. Even if it's just like we did, we just, you know, opened up the surface, got the pores of the concrete open, and now the product that we're using can sink down into those pores and stick to it, you know, grab a hold of it, and then we can, we can broadcast our flake into it. Now, another thing is, what what do you want the floor to look like? Do you want it just a solid color like like Luke's rolling out that gray right now? I mean, you could just leave it a solid color, put a clear top coat over it and leave your floor like that if that's what you like. You can broadcast flake in it like I'm doing. Uh, we call this a full broadcast, so we're broadcasting to rejection. That means you don't see you don't really see any of the base coat afterwards or you could just kind of flick a few flakes into that base coat so you kind of see most of the base coat and then a few flakes here and there we personally don't do that because it's really hard to get when you're just putting a few flakes in it's really hard to get it to look even you know you might have a little bit more uh, flake in one area than another and it can kind of look uneven so we just do either the full flake like this or we'll do a solid color 
And then probably another thing that might be difficult that you don't quite understand is what product to use and how to use that product. How does it act? How does it react to different things? Um, we, we use really, really good products from good companies, maybe a little bit more expensive than the over-the-counter big box stuff, but we don't have any problems with them. These floors that we put down like this in a garage will last, you know, I don't know, 20 years or more if they're just maintained properly. So if you're looking for cheap, quick, then, you know, go ahead and buy the, the really thin, thin big box stuff, uh, water-based stuff. Uh, maybe it's even single component and, you know, you might get a half a year out of it, maybe a year out of it before it starts to peel up. Or you can spend a little bit more money, you know, maybe even learn how to do this properly or hire somebody like us and, you know, have a floor that's going to last for years and years and years. It's going to look really, really nice. This is definitely an investment in the garage and it's going to make the garage worth more money in the long run if you do it right like this. So that's another thing, you know, the prep, what do you want it to look like, what to use, um, and then how to use it. Like, like there's steps to doing this and you got to do the steps properly, especially, you know, depending on what product you're using, you got to know how to mix it, how long to mix it for, uh, how long you have to work with it how thin or how thick to roll it down and again like I said in the beginning of the video you know I I train people to do this I got that link if you want to if you want to get trained how to do this whether it's just to save a little money on your own or maybe to do it as a business like we do then that's why I got that link down in the description for you guys so you can check that out the flake though the flake we're using is domino we're using the quarter inch size flakes on this we like either the quarter inch or the eighth inch i don't really like they make 16th inch they make half inch those are the two sizes that we use the most a quarter inch really covers nice and the eighth inch covers really nice too but it just takes more flake to make sure you get everything covered you can see how i broadcast that there's you know we just like to throw it up in the air let it come down spread out as it comes down and then it kind of covers more area with less flake that way it's really really warm today that we're doing this. that's another thing you gotta you gotta know is you know what's the temperatures out what's the humidity out you don't want to do this in the rain <laughs> you don't want to do it really when it's too too hot either today was probably borderline i think it was like 85 out here today that we're doing this the stuff, the product we use cures up in about an hour, an hour and a half. So we use really fast drying epoxy so we can do what's called like a one day flake floor. We can get in and out of here in a day. If we, if we show up early and we can get it all prepped, then we can do the base coat, the flake, and the top coat all in a day. And that's typically what we like to do, especially if we're an hour or more away from home. This job here, this was actually pretty close for us. It was about 15 minutes. So we came, did the prep the day before, and then showed up early today to get the epoxy coating on. And we like, you know, we can blow any of that excess flake, we can blow that into a corner, scrape it all up, put it back in the box. We can reuse that stuff because it's still really clean. And then, you know, vacuum a couple times really, really good, get any of the the dust from the flake up and then we're onto the top coat right here now the top coat is what really makes this stuff pop the color of these flakes it's it's black white there's a little bit of gray in there so they call it domino kind of like a granite type color and it's a pretty popular color that we use it's you know it pretty much goes with anything you have in the garage as far as colors so it's pretty pretty neutral and the thickness of the coating here is is going to be about you know 30 to 40 mils thick so it's going to be a pretty thick coat and it's really durable this top coat we're putting on is a polyaspartic and this won't yellow in the sun you know it's 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 very very chemical resistant very scratch resistant hot tire resistant so it's pretty much the best type of top coat you can put on a floor like this and that's why we use it and it, it leaves a nice gloss to it, so it kind of has that showroom looking effect. And that's what the 
the customer or the homeowner really likes too when that's when it looks like a brand new showroom type floor I mean who wouldn't want that in your garage so what do you think the floor is looking like so far you guys think this is something you could tackle on your own maybe not this size but if it was a one bay garage or maybe even a smaller two bay garage are you thinking of doing something like this on your own you can see we got a little bit of a process a little bit of a team thing going like Darren does all the mixing so there's never any confusion on you know the the batches the size of the batches the putting part a and part b together in the right proportions getting it mixed up so darren kind of handles that and gets it dumped out and then luke is kind of breaking it down he's he's rough rolling it out just to get it rolled out uh eric kind of cutting in the edges and then i'll come back and i'll kind of help luke a little bit if he needs it and then i'll do the finish rolling from one end to the other to make sure there's no like thicker areas or no roller lines or anything like that so it's we got kind of a team thing going on and this this allows us to put this stuff down really fast it probably took to do this 1400 square feet probably took us I don't even think it took us an hour to get this down probably took like 45 minutes and probably the slowest thing is just you know waiting for Darren to get it all mixed up properly get the little batches because we do a bunch of little batches instead of instead of two or three big batches. You can see he's over there <laughs> mixing. We got him in the shade so he's not mixing in the sun. You can see what that looks like over to the right after we're done. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. It's going to cure and dry just like that. That color have that sheen to it. And it makes for the garage floor to look really finished off. So all this guy has to do is he'll probably paint one more time. And then he'll put his baseboard up, and that's it, guys, right there. So, again, let me know if you want to do this on your own. I'll help teach you the links in the comments. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.